men, men, manly men, 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 manly men, men, men. Mad men, 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 men. Men, 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 manly men, 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 Guten Tag, Riverview. Today is Monday, March 32nd, and we're on a day seven schedule. Attention all high school students. Riverview is excited to announce the new AP Lunch course that will be offered for the 2018-2019 school year. AP Lunch will challenge students in their nutritional knowledge as they explore more advanced studies in eating. Interested students should be comfortable with both buying and packing their lunches and must have at least a 92% average in their previous lunch course. If students cannot fit AP lunch into their schedules, they may eat their AP lunch during a regular lunch period as long as they have a recommendation from a cafeteria worker. Attention all sophomores and juniors, The Sun is offering a new job shadow opportunity that is now available in the guidance office. The Sun offers students a wide array of hours to choose from when completing their job shadow requirements. However, noon and evenings are not available. Students interested in shadowing the sun should see their guidance counselor for more information and should also see Mrs. Rinaldi for extra sunscreen. And now, we're really excited to introduce a new segment on The Current. We all love watching some of Garda's captivating aerial shots with his drone, so we decided to turn it into a regularly scheduled segment. Enjoy! Wow. All right. This just in, Riverview. I have some groundbreaking news about a development in our community. It seems that the Oakmont Bakery has decided to withdraw from the new construction project that is currently underway. RVTV sources are reporting that the world-famous bakery is concerned about keeping up with the demand of donut supplies if they're so close to a school. Furthermore, it seems that RVTV sources have also uncovered a new investor has already purchased the lot from the bakery and is planning on continuing with construction. According to the information I just got, it looks like the new building will be, oh, another speedway. Well, how about that? Well, let's check back in to see if Garda's drone is up and running. If you are on the golf team and would like to sign a Get Well card for Mr. Beal, it is available in room 223. If you aren't aware, Mr. Beal accidentally stuck his hand in a leaf blower last week. Please see Mr. Carlin if you would like to sign the card and if you would also like to help raise funds to hire a landscaper for the summer so Mr. Beal doesn't attempt to mow his lawn. It is time once again to answer all of your deepest questions on another episode of The Q. Enjoy! <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the queue. Where you ask us stuff and we answer you. I'm Mike. I'm Ryan. Let's, Let's load, load up, up the queue. queue. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, uh, sorry about that. We'll check back in with the queue later. Due to a massive accumulation of copyright infringements, RVTV will be changing some of its regularly scheduled programming. As you may have seen with today's intro, we may be doing things a bit differently on the show. However, viewers can be assured that we here at RVTV intend on bringing you brand new groundbreaking programming. Some of our new additions to the lineup will include Sundays with Celebrich, Food Fight, The Question Show, and of course, random assortments of video projects from our collection we call The Reservoir. It is commonly accepted legislation in the RVTV courses that Mr. O'Malley strictly forbids the creation of video memes. He is quoted as saying that, Designing memes is basic and pedestrian. They offer no challenge in video production and hinder a student's ability to grow their skills. In a shocking turn of events, it seems that Mr. O'Malley has removed his ban of memes. Here's RVTV senior Jordan Zatoski with more information. This just in, Mr. O'Malley has just lifted the ban on memes in RVTV. 
He has previously been quoted saying, memes are dumb. My to which the students responded with, cuh, you're dumb. <laughs> After the students ended his career, he was sure forced that? to lift the band yeah. of memes. Yeah. Yeah. It is a new day for RBT. Back to you. Attention all junior high students. We're excited to announce a guest speaker for our next town hall meeting. Tony Izquierda, author of the award-winning book, Go Against the Current, will be speaking about promoting independence and creativity as he promotes your right to walk on the wrong side of the hallways. Mr. Izquierda will be explaining how opposed to popular belief, junior high students actually do know which side of the hallway to walk on. They just choose to break the mold and creatively explore the world around them. If you are a high school student and are interested in attending, please see your guidance counselor for more information. Let's check back in with the queue and see how things are going. Hey everybody, welcome to the queue. Where you ask us stuff and we answer you. I'm Mike. I'm Mike. Let's, Let's load, load up, up the, the queue. queue. Wait, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So uh, obviously we're still having some technical difficulties with the queue. However, my director is informing me that we have Garda's drone back up and running. Let's cut to that live footage. Ah, now we're talking. Wow, look at that beautiful drone footage. I tell you what, everyone, I just never get tired of looking at these amazing visuals that Garda is able to capture on his drone. Just breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. These shots just make you think about the amazing beauty and splendor that is planet Earth. What a captivating and enchanting piece of imagery this is. Wonderful work as always, Garda. The Oxford English Dictionary Club will be having its first meeting after school this Thursday in room 229. If you love all things vocabulary related, then this is the club for you. The topic of this week's discussion is one that has been two weeks in the making, as we will discuss the Germanic origins of the word Fortnite and also learn how to answer adults' questions about why they think you are suddenly speaking like Shakespeare all the time. Well, let's give it one more try and see if the queue is finally up and running. Hey everybody, welcome to Snack Attack with Mike and Ike. A reminder to all students that we are approaching the time of school exams and your teachers encourage you to get a good night of rest and eat a healthy breakfast in preparation for your standardized assessments. The teachers at RHS wish you all good luck on the upcoming PSSAs. Give it your best on the CDTs, the TDAs, and your DBQs. Also, break a leg on the SAT, ACT, and AP exams. As a quick side note, all applications for NHS and PJAS are due ASAP. Remember, this all prepares you for the GREs along with the LSATs, MCATs, and GMATs. So when in doubt, just try and remember your ABCs and 123s. And good luck on the keystones. Now that's all your news and announcements for today. I'm Sean. Please remember to stand for the pledge and have a fantabulous day. Oh, by now, I'm sure you've realized that this was our annual April Fool's episode, albeit one day late. Nothing you saw in today's news was real, all just for kicks. Especially the notion that RVTV would have copyright infringements. Everything we bring you is original, and we're going to keep it that way. Well, that being said, I'm Mr. O'Shmally, signing off for the stream. Please stand for the pledge and have a wonderful day.